Arizona dummy crafts turn on the Hispanic community. They hold a press conference defending Katie Hobbs's racist policies. They refuse to answer TGP's tough questions. What an awful situation. It's about the tamale bill, guys. You guys know about the tamale bill? Yeah. Basically, if you're one of those poor street vendor people, no, you got to get the fuck out of there because they want citizens paying for things that generate tax revenues, okay? They know you with the little tamale cart. Yeah, you the paleta man, yeah? You don't pay taxes. So they're like, get out of here, SA, SA loco. Get out of here. Arizona Dummy Crowd Legislator held a press conference on Tuesday after getting cold feet on defying Katie Hobbs with a veto override for the tamale bill. Governor State Rep. Travis Grantham's HB 2509 dubbed the tamale bill would help support entrepreneurship and small businesses, namely in Arizona's Hispanic community. Oh, they got to be mad. They got to be mad. Even Democrats have no power in the legislature under radical leftist tyrant Katie Hobbs. As a gateway pundit reported, questionably, questionably selected Arizona Governor Hobbs recently vetoed the bipartisan bill that would ease restrictions. Ease. So, so, so the bill would have eased restrictions on street vendors selling homemade goods or cottage food products and received the support of over two thirds of the Arizona legislature. Yeah, guys, this is, by the way, something that they tried to do in uh, no, I'm sorry, not the, the, the opposite in, in L.A. County about 20 years ago. OK, I remember this clearly. It's like 2008 or so. Okay, there are food trucks. There are people who sell, you know, street hot dogs. After after the club, you get a street hot dog. You throw up afterwards because they're they're spoiled, right? But you still have the option to do that. And then you blame that on the alcohol. Oh, I just drank too much. Blah, I know it was a hot dog. Okay, uh, but uh, they were trying to pass like a law in LA that would have basically said, oh, you food truck people need to get licenses. You need to get certified. You need to pay your annual fees and you know, things like that, right? Because the government wants their hand in your pocket. They want you to pay as many fees as possible. Um, yeah. And so they were going to do they're They're going to try to do that in LA. I, I, I don't know. That might, might have gone through, but people just ignore it. You know, I don't know. I don't remember. But that's how bad it gets in the uh, liberal heckles, guys. You can't do anything. You know, next thing you know, oh, you have a potluck, you need a, you need a food permit. If you're going to be serving your food to other people at work, even though they're not paying you money for it, you need a permit. We need to make sure you're certified. Huh? As a TGP reporter questionably elected, I already read that part. Senator Anna Hernandez opened the press conference with a speech she probably didn't even write herself, calling the bill, uh, in quotes, model legislation pushed by dark money billionaires to give extreme deregulation to sellers of homemade good. Oh, those evil, evil extreme sellers of home good. Yeah. Hernandez also called it an insincere, an insincere charade and claimed racist Republicans are using the Hispanic community as a pawn in their long game, despite the bill receiving bipartisan support from many Hispanic Democrats and Republicans. Yeah, because freedom, okay, is the key to happiness. This is a shocking way to describe the proponents of this bill, considering that dummy crass Katie Hobbs had a history of discriminatory firing against a black employee. That's a fact, by the way. Yeah. Participation in a slave day tradition. Remember that? We pulled that up. Yeah. Back when she was in high school, there was a thing called slave day. You could, you, you could auction off a person and then they're, they're your slave for a day. And you could not even say one good thing about his she could not even say wait and could not even say one good thing about hispanics when asked in a forum on a campaign trail i'll say some yeah they're hard working they're the hard working hardest working people in this country okay the hardest when katie hobbs vote vetoed hb 2509 she sent a letter to speaker ben toma suggesting that home kitchens in this dominantly hispanic industry are more susceptible to rodent or insect outbreaks I think we will see that in our food, right? They're not making hot dogs, right? This led many to speculate that Katie was referring to AZ's Hispanic community as unsanitary. Oh, she called all you disgusting. 
She called Alma Hernandez yucky. She's like, ew, you're yucky. You got rats and cockroaches all over you. She said, uh, Anna, uh, Alma Hernandez said later in the day that the veto letter was offensive and I would be glad to put up my Nana's kitchen or my mom's kitchen up against anyone's kitchen. Oh my God. I have not heard of one single case of a person dying from eating tamales or tortillas from someone that sold them in my district. Okay. Anna Hernandez further proposed that the bill must require uh, preparers of cottage food goods to receive basic food safety and handling instructions requiring labeling to include contact information for someone at the Department of Health Services so they can report a foodborne illness and to allow the department to investigate certain foodborne illnesses. Wow, guys, this is how far uh, a Democrat regime in Arizona wants to put their hands in your pockets, right? They want you. Okay, probably don't even speak English. Uh, you and your cart, your tamale cart, and the, the big silver bucket. Delicious, by the way. Uh, they want you to have to register. Ooh, I better hire someone to register you. Yeah, well, and they, they want to give you a serial number. And they want you to give that serial number to everyone who buys a tamale so that they can report you. And if you don't vote for them, they will take away your serial number so you can't sell. Hey, lady, you got a serial number? I got a flashlight flashing in your eyes right now. I know it's daytime, but I still got my flashlight. I'm going to flash it in your eyes. I need your serial number, yeah? However, HB 2509 already requires food... Oh, wait, did I already read that part? Oh, yeah, no, I haven't. However, HB 2509 already requires food preparers to take a basic food handling course and a and register with an online registry established by the DHS. It also requires DHS to adopt rules relating to cottage food products uh, and allows DHS to enforce these rules and does not impede DHS from investigating reported food board illness. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine like driving down a street and you see like this lady, she's 5'2", because she's Hispanics are short, right? She's 5'2", you know, she's a little chunky because she doesn't have time to uh, work out because she, she's always working, right? She's chunky. She makes delicious food. So she's big, right? And she's just pushing her little tamale cart, right? Hey, you know, with the little bell. Ring, ring, ring. I think I'm mixing up the paleta man and the tamale cart, but I think they have bells too. Ring, 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 you know? And then um, you, you're driving by, you know, and you're like, oh, I want to go get one. So you pull over real quick, you know, you get out of your car, you turn around and just boom, boom. And then there's, you know, all these, all these black SUVs show up and then they got these guys in their DHS jack. He's like, freeze, show, show us your serial number right now. I'm flashing my flashlight in your eye right now in the daytime. Good Lord. Right. The Senate Dummy Crack Caucus announced this press conference calling the bipartisan fight to override Hobbs and her veto. Uh, political theater and purporting to look for real solutions for impacted communities. Representative Alma Hernandez slammed her dummy crack colleagues for showing they are too weak to make their own decisions as lawmakers. Mm, look at that. Oh, good lord. Media advisory. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. This this press conference was the real political theater aimed at defending Katie Hobbs' veto of a new law that would help Arizonians. The override later failed in Arizona House, but oh wow, so the, the, the veto override failed. So you tamale people gotta get your serial numbers now. Oh told you to vote for Carrie. No, you didn't do it. TDP correspondent Jordan Conderson attempted to question the senator over her flagrant disregard for Katie's racism while blaming racism and virtue signaling of the righteous outrage by Republicans for this bipartisan bill's introduction. Hernandez refused to answer Conderson's questions, and when one mainstream reporter finally asked tough questions, Hernandez fumbled her words and struggled with her bad answers. After the press conference, Conderson again attempted to speak to Hernandez, but he was shooed off and blocked by Senator Mitzi J.E. I can't even say that last name anymore. This place sucks, guys. You guys, guys, I know I've got six channels here, 
okay i also have six channels here okay in the description on both places look for them please look for me over there make your account and follow me okay i'm about to get whacked from here because i just got demonetized on my main channel you know what that means stepping stones to gone okay follow me over there back to this article um anyways Hernandez was escorted away by her handlers and other me members of the media, including left-wing hacks, Stacey Bachanger. Bartanger. That sounds racist. Uh, watch the full press release below. Oh my God. No, I'm not going to watch it. We're not going to watch it. We don't care. But then, anyways, Condreson did ask. Condreson, Jordan Condreson, the guy who wrote this article, uh, he writes, you spoke a lot about racism by Republicans, but a lot of your colleagues on the Democrat side support this bill. And Hernandez said that the veto of this bill goes against her community and slammed all of you here as weak. So my question for you is, aren't you ashamed of Katie Hobbs' history of racism with her celebration of Slave Day, her discrimination against black employees, and also at a Hispanic forum where she couldn't even say one good thing about Hispanics? Hernandez then says, um, yes, uh, what I say is that today we're talking about HB uh, 2509. So, no, if you're interested in sound bites, please find them elsewhere. No. Next question. No. Congressman Jen then says, I'm asking you about your alignment with Katie Hobbs, a proven racist. You're not going to answer about your alignment with Hobbs? Uh, no. Next question. <laughs> five points of who knows what who, who five points of whoever knows whose voice that is that I'm doing her name okay Conderson says again you're talking about race are you going to distance yourself from Katie Haas's racism um Hernandez says no I'm here for people and the people about LD24 no and I have a track record for showing up for them I have no money uh, another reporter says, what do you say to people who see this as just you trying to prevent Hobbs from being embarrassed by having the override? Hernandez says, no, I think the record will show that I stand for my record, for my, uh, my calm, for our community, first and foremost. What we're talking about is not embarrassment or this has... Of been over this. I'm, I'm actually reading it word for word by the way. She's stuttering a lot, and they actually were, wrote they wrote down her stutters for some reason. Been overshadowed into concerns over privacy policy and has developed into political theater. No, I think that's what we have been seeing over a week. No, I mean, we've seen representatives on your side calling the political theater. We had a majority super vote, super majority vote to pass the piece of legislation earlier. What changed between when you guys passed it in the first time and now? Hernandez says, a lot has changed. Uh, I mean, we have, we have more information now. Other community members uh, have put input that weren't afforded that community opportunity prior to Bill going to governor's desk. What I say, let's bring, let's work on it. I have no money. We're serious about delivering legislation. The doors that are open. Let's work together on good policy. Report says, was the first vote a mistake? Hernandez says, I stand by, no, I stand by my first vote and I stand by my words today. I have no money. <laughs> Uh, did anyone get the name right? Did anyone, did anyone get that name right? Oh, you guys don't know where that what character I'm 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 repeating. You guys don't know what character I'm, I'm playing right now. Consuela from Family Guy. But yeah, there you go, Psy Guy. <laughs> Five, three points for Psy Guy. Carter just says, "Why do you believe that some members of your community in the legislature are supportive of this veto override?" Yeah, and then she won't answer. So that's, that's about it. Anyways, six channels, links in the description. Subscribe to the ones you want. Ring the bell for notifications. And by the way, for when I get whacked, and I am going to get whacked, okay? Because I already got demonetized on my main channel. So you guys, over here, this place, six over here too, okay? In the description. Give me a follow. Make an account. Follow me. It's fun. It's fun there. Yeah? There's no banned word. You can say whatever you want. Just don't plug channels because I'll whack you.